Hi, this is going to be a detailed review of one of my favorite productivity softwares and how I use it to block distracting apps like Facebook, Twitter and general news sites. I've been using this software called Rescue Time for more than five years now and from which that time I'm using the premium for more than two years maybe and I will get back to that later but generally this this software enabled me to block most of my distractions and when I'm working I can help focus on software development which is my daily job so I remember like five years ago when I was just wanted to report like what is my daily routine and um, what's my activity and I found this website basically and what I did is I installed the app on my computer and I totally forgot about it it was running in the background like this I don't know if I can show you but basically what happened is it was running in the background I'm not sure why yeah so in the background and I forgot about it and after a very wasted workday I logged back in again and these statistics just blew me away so literally when I was just seeing how improductive I was this is today so it's it it was a good day but generally when I was really first looking at it I was very shocked like how much time I spent on like five hours of reading news going to social media and YouTube videos and all type of stuff from the eight hours of work it was a very unproductive and that's why I said a wasted day so ever since then I'm really watching my stats closely and the software what it does is automatically pulls up these categories like software development communication business utilities news opinions and I think there is a social media tab but I'm not using it because I'm not checking it uh, on those kind of things now but you know it was it was a quite a long journey to go today now if you check out my daily goals it, it was a really productive day so really I, I well, when I was saying I'm using it for five years now you can see that the total time logged is like quite a lot and actually if I go back to my Gmail you can see that I've been I've been using it for from 2015 so really it, it's and first if you have a look at it my my productivity was like 50 percent and, and maybe I could I could <laughs> see lower lower times but then I started working on it and it became like 70 75 but still there are days when it is not as good and actually these are weeks so yeah the whole week was quite unproductive so yeah anyway that's why I, I want to show you this app and ever since I mean focusing it my my productivity rate is really most of the time above 60 I'm trying to keep it above 70 this is the the limit which I have found is is I'm not pushing myself too hard but also this is a very productive day as I I, I set myself the limit because then I, I can take some breaks so if you have a look at it I, I had a lunch break and I did some very distracting news reading maybe in the morning when I was sipping my coffee I did six minutes but still it's I think it's pretty good it's it's not that bad but yeah really after the long introduction about like how what's the main goal of the software let's let's get into the software really and what I want to show you is that it's really running automatically so if you download it and you just install it this tiny little icon appears here in the rescue time and it just logs your time really you don't need to do anything you can go to the dashboard which is this but what you can do is just forget about it do your routines and then then see like run it for a couple of days and you will see how good or bad days you had and after that you can focus on getting it, it better you can set up um, really goals for each day like I have set up three hours for software development which I didn't actually fill today 
but still two hours I consider it pretty close to and generally my, my time was really productive but I wasn't software developing I did some business banking or whatever so you don't need to be laser focused on that but but really it gives you a general idea how it works so what I, I really want to emphasize is one very cool feature which I like if you are using the premium plan again if you go to the to the app with the little icon is focus time now this is a real game changer you can do the, you can set it up for 30 minutes one hour if you really want to get things done what it does it blocks all the distracting apps so even if you want to go to Spotify you want to go to YouTube or whatever it blocks them if, if, and it doesn't matter if you're using Internet Explorer Firefox or Chrome it just blocks all those websites so you can start it like this and then you have one hour when your computer is basically it, it doesn't matter if you restart it or whatever it will block them and you you cannot do anything but just to get things done in, in your really working on, on that time well also there is another option which can be a little cheat day if you if something happened and and you want to log into gmail you want to go to facebook because you have something to I don't know use the messenger or whatever you can pause logging for 15 minutes or one hour I used to use these functions but now I'm, I'm instead having my lunchtime be logged with being very distractive because I think it's more honest to to have the data saved but first when I was starting using the software I, I did this so like I started like 15 minutes of news reading and then I again clicked it to another 15 minutes so it didn't really work well for me but it depends on how you use it but focus time is very useful the only thing is that it's only enabled for premium users so that's that's one benefit of, of going to premium but another very cool feature in premium is that you get these daily alerts which which came handy in the daytime because as you can see I get a reminder I don't know what at noon or at one o'clock that you have already been productive for the day so it, it really helps you helps you get things done and help focus even if you are not using and not checking the the stats all all day long but you get these notifications like how was your day and and you can see my my days were pretty good recently so that's why I think it's it's really useful to to use the premium get the notifications have the focus time because all of these things add together so one thing I also want to highlight is because not many people use the computer like for eight hours like me probably is that you can have it on your mobile phone so what it, it helps you do is that you can track keep track of your time spent offline I mean offline like with, um, not, not in front of your computer so you can track your meetings you can track your commuting time your lunch time or let's say you are you are doing some longer phone calls which are private and you consider them uh, distractions so you can add them manually in the mobile app as, as distractions and just keep track of you know how much time you spend on, on maybe in the bath or bathroom I don't know so <laughs> you can you can use it for a lot of things so really I think that that this uh, if I want to go to the pricing page so premium helps you focus like what I showed you and it blocks really all the distracting sites you can set up these real-time focus alerts and you can keep track of the offline times and really it's just 18 like $78 a year I think it's really worth it because for me if you just think about how much money your one hour of work means you can easily calculate like is it maybe one or two hours or maybe let's say five hours if you save it in a month then you can basically pay for the software like for a year and that's that's why I first I didn't really 
I haven't tried the premium first in a couple of first years. I think I was doing good, but then this focus time, this focus time distraction blocker came in ha very handy. Well, this was a new feature I think two years ago, so that's why I started using it. So anyway, this is my experience. Yeah, this is this is kind of my my daily goals. So you can see that my days were not not all of the days were good, but you can really have just go back in time and maybe see like maybe in the summer time I wasn't that productive I'm not sure yeah <laughs> I wasn't that productive in August but but anyway you can go back and see the trends and see see how you were working and I think this is this software basically because it's automatically logging your stuff it's a really no-brainer to use if if you are sitting a lot in, in front of a computer so I really recommend using it anyway this was my experience so i hope you find it useful uh, maybe i want to show you another stats if it loads like this is a monthly view you can see like how you did it daily you can go back really in time and, and just have a look at like i don't know i think it i had a new computer here and i didn't install it right away so that's why it wasn't logged yeah, yeah, probably that was the reason. So anyway, I hope you find my review useful. And if you want to try out Rescue Time, just use the link below and just start tracking your day, your time basically. And I wish you a happy and productive day and week. And use the link below the description to install it for yourself.